boy survives. This is need protection. The Dark Lord is gone. The Dark Lord will return. And when he does, the boy will be in terrible danger. He has her eyes. If you truly loved her, no one can know. I should never reveal the best of you, sir. Your word. When you risk your life every day to protect the boy. He possesses no measurable talent. His arrogance rivals even that of his father, and he seems to relish his fame. Don't say a word against my father. James Potter. Lazy. Arrogant. My father was a great man. Your father was a swine. Drink the rest. It will contain the curse to your hand. Spread, Albus. How long? Maybe a year. Don't ignore me, Severus. We both know Lord Voldemort has ordered the Malfoy boy to murder me. But should he fail, one should presume the Dark Lord will turn to you. You must be the one to kill me, Severus. It is the only way. Only then will the Dark Lord trust you completely. There will come a time when Harry Potter must be told something. But you must wait until Voldemort is at his most vulnerable. Must be told what? On the night Lord Voldemort went to Godric's Hollow to kill Harry, when Lily Potter cast herself between them, the curse rebounded. When that happened, a part of Voldemort's soul latched itself onto the only living thing it could find, Harry himself. Well, there's a reason Harry can speak with snakes. There's a reason he could look into Lord Voldemort's mind. A part of Voldemort lives inside him. So when the time comes, the boy must die. Yes, he must die. You've kept him alive so that he can die at the proper moment. You've been raising him like a pig for slaughter. Don't tell me now that you've grown to care for the boy. When the time comes, the boy must die. Yes, he must die. Voldemort himself must do it. That is essential. So, so when 